by grabbing six ramekins, see, like this, nice and tiny for cute little individual servings. Grab some cooking spray, six, spray them down, and that's step number one. We're going to combine our dry ingredients. I have half, half, and half. So that would be half a cup of cocoa powder that's unsweetened, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a cup of flour, just regular all-purpose flour. And then I'm going to grab a whisk and get that nice and combined. I have a small saute pan. I'm going to pour some water just to cover about half an inch or so. And then put another pan right on top so it kind of sits in there. That way when your chocolate melts, it doesn't get burnt. And here I have one stick of unsalted butter. To that, I'm going to add four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. Just open this guy up here and break it up into smaller pieces that's going to help it melt a lot quicker. And remember, if you guys saw some of my other videos, when you do the chocolate, you don't want to over stir it because you're going to get lots of air into it. You just want to slowly let it melt and then kind of flip it over, work it nice and slow. Then we're going to combine our wet ingredients. So I have four eggs, one cup of white sugar. Looks like a lot, but it's distributed among all six ramekins, so don't sweat it. A teaspoon of vanilla extract, use good quality and a quarter teaspoon of salt to bring everything together. And then we're just gonna give that a little mix. Here's our egg mixture, and I have our melted chocolate. We can say chocolate, because it's like kind of a fancy French dessert. <laughs> Just kidding, stupid. And we're gonna add that into our egg mixture and get all that chocolate in there. You don't wanna miss out. Give it a nice stir so every, oh look at that, that's so pretty. The little swirl, see that? This is fun, guys. This is not stressful, this is relaxing. Have your cocoa powder mixture with the flour. Put it on in, make a little mess while you're at it. <laughs> Have some fun. And then get that combined into the chocolate and those eggs to make a nice little batter. I'm just filling my ramekins up halfway with the chocolate mixture. And then I'm going to grab some Nutella. Our secret ingredient. Get a little spoon, or a big spoon if you're a really big Nutella fan. But there's so much chocolate in it, you don't need to get crazy. And then put a little dollop right in the center of each ramekin. One for you, and one for you. And then we're going to top it off with more of our chocolate cake mixture. Then I'm going to pop these guys into the oven 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, let them cool for 5 minutes, and then dust them with powdered sugar. Our little cakes, 5 minutes after they cooled, they look beautiful. Some of them rose, some of them kind of did, kind of didn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. Not a big deal. You're just serving it to friends and family anyways. And I'm going to take some powdered sugar right over the top. There's our little garnish. And I don't mean to be rude, but I have some chocolate cakes to devour. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and let me know what you think. Have a delicious day.